0-2 hole. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll head now to the home half. Corey Carew is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. And right here is an important time for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. Saunders is underneath this one. One pitch, one away. Now batting. Dustin Ackley steps in now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Come on, fellas, let's go. In there, no balls and a strike. Boy, he has been a first strike machine. I can't remember too many guys that have even been ahead in the one count. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. At the plate, Tristan Lang. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, it's always a frustrating thing to go down looking, but you know what? Everybody does it. So you've got to let that one go and make the next A-B count. I think I'd take that one, too. It's 0-2 now. Huh. 68 miles an hour. I mean, that's barely... Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Buffalo's in front of this one, one to nothing. Leading off the inning, Larry Slade, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And in a pretty close game so far, they'd love to see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now batting. Now to the plate, Andy Fletcher. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Well, at the very least, he went down hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting, and you have to accept that it's going to happen sometime. And a strike to even the count, one and one. Well, you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game, because right now they just seem out of it to two and two yeah, right now. now. Let's go, well, I just don't think he was expecting that one, and it was the perfect time to just take a little off. And he struck him out. The 10th victim sat down on strikes thus far. Austin Romine is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and he went down in flames, too. Got him on just three pitches. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. I got it, I got it. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So a strong start on the mound as he's blanked. Ronald Torres will come forward now to start out their half of the sixth, and they've found it rough sailing against this starter so far as he's yielded just two hits through the first five. Not too many hard-hit balls there either. He's had them off balance all game. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to one and one. Here's the one and one pitch. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one-and-two hole. Here's the one-and-two delivery. To short. Goins has got it. And he's, he's safe. safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. Larry Lemon will stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Seems like it's been a fairly consistent pattern. Hard stuff early, soft stuff late. But these guys don't seem to have caught me, on yet. Me, me. It's a pretty standard operating procedure, too. I, but they just look lost up there. Rafael Jimenez, ready to take another Rafael. shot, went down Jimenez. on strikes his last hey. time up. In there at the knees, strike one. For that man hey, right there, two, you need one. look back only to his last start oh, to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well on his way to another great oh, outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. 
Yeah, we got one out here. And he chased it in the dirt. In the dirt here. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Now batting. So a big moment here and standing in, Corey Carew. But a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. Yeah, you know, sometimes hey, you guys get right caught here. up in thinking about being the big hero. The key here, Orange though, him. is just keep it simple. Two down, two See the ball, down. hit the ball. Usually the best results come nope. with that mindset. Ball one. Down and away, it's one a ball, ball and two strikes. Two strike. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Dustin Ackley will stand in here to start the seventh in a game that's been sailing along to this point. Yeah, good thing we don't get paid by the hour, man. This game has flown by. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Well, he's really kept himself in the game here by throwing first pitch strikes to about 70% of the batters he's faced. That's kept him in the ball game. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 10 for him on the year. As they get one back, it's 3-1 to one now. Tristan Lang stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. No that command may be starting to drift a bit. It's 2-0 and oh now. 2-1 and one after the foul ball there. Ah. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Still two and two. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. Larry Slade will dig right in for the third time now. Larry he struck out and Slade. bounced out in his first two trips. Oh, inside. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Oh. Here we go. That evens it up 1-1. One and one. one and two now as that one's fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. Yeah, what? Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Andy Fletcher stands into no the box. He's 0 Short for stop. 2 so far Andy in this one. Fletcher. Hey, plays the first. Plays the first. In there, and it's 0 and 1. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. Hey, two Bases away, are empty two here away. with two men out. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. So it's one run on it's one base hit, the home run, no errors, and no one left. Austin Romine will stand in now. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. Romine. And he swings on the first pitch as this is popped high ball, into the ball, air ball, ball, on the left side. Duffy is there to put it away, and they couldn't ask for more than a one pitch out to begin the eighth. Yeah, a another good start to an inning for him here. He's really only made one bad pitch the entire game. That was the solo home run. Other than that, you can see there, not much to speak of at all. Ronald Torres is the batter now as he looks at a bowl of 1-0. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Swing and a yep. miss. One Couldn't get two. extended on the screwball, and it's one and two. Boy, he is putting on a clinic out there right now. These two guys ball, don't know what strikes. to look for. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball game. Larry Lemon will stand in now with two away, no needing to really get Designated something hitter. started here. Larry and their chances of getting Lemon. back into this ballgame are growing dimmer by the batter. And he'll just watch this thing to try and get an idea. It's 0-1. Oh, oh, he's two, really down. getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Boy, I'll tell you, to be down 0-2 against a guy like this. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. So nothing happening this time around. 
home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Bisons lead it 4-1. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, really a dominating performance out there. Look at all the strikeouts. I mean, they just couldn't touch him. So that's a wrap here tonight for my partners in the booth. It's September 1st. Welcome to Inside the Show as rosters have expanded. Looking first at the American League East, the Toronto Blue Jays total 11 hits as they beat the O's in Baltimore 4-3. The Tampa Bay Rays amassed 14 hits in the game as they... TGIF and welcome to Inside the Show. Starting in the American League Central, Tyler Duffy grabbed win... Happy Saturday morning to you. Here's the news and results from Friday. Starting in the AL East, the Jays launched three home runs as they took down the Rays in St. Petersburg, 6 to nothing. As of today, the Rays sit atop the American League East division, a sizable seven games ahead of second. The Blue Jays are third in the division. They trail by eight and a half games. Greg Bird launched two home runs and added five RBIs to his total as the Yankees claim victory over the Orioles, 9 to 7. He extended his hitting streak to a modest six straight games. Right now, the Orioles sit in last place in the American League East division. They're over 20 games out of first. The Yankees are second in the division, but they currently lead the AL wildcard race. The Red Sox combined for 10 hits as a team as they defeated the A's in Oakland 4-2. At the moment, the A's are in third place in the AL West, 12 games behind first place. The Red Sox are in fourth place in the AL East, 11 and a half games out of first. The Miami Marlins held their opponent to just two hits as they beat the Tribe in Cleveland, 7 to nothing. Heading into today, the Indians sit in second place in the AL Central Division, only a game and a half back. The Marlins sit in third place in the National League East Division. They're over 20 games out of first. The Kansas City Royals stopped their six-game losing streak as they defeated the visiting Tigers 4-3. Looking at the standings, the Royals are in last place in the AL Central, five and a half games back. The Tigers are atop the division. They have a small game and a half advantage over second. Chris Sale turned in a great complete game effort, helping the White Sox dispose of the Twins 3-1. He is among the AL leaders in wins. As of today, the Twins sit in third place in the American League Central, two and a half games out of first. The White Sox are fourth in the division. They're three and a half games back. The Angels put together 10 hits total as they bested the Mariners in Safeco Field, four to three. At the moment, the Mariners are in fourth place in the AL West, 16 games out of first. The Angels are at the bottom of the division. They're over 20 games out of first. Luke Gregerson got his ninth win out of the pen, leading the Strohs to a win over the Rangers 2-1. Heading into today, the Rangers are in second place in the AL West, 10 and a half back. The Astros are atop the division. They are more than 10 games ahead of second place. The Mets got 11 overall hits as they bested the visiting Nats 5-4. It was their fifth straight victory. Right now, the Mets are in second place in the NL East, but they currently lead the NL wildcard race. The Nationals are atop the division.
Tonight's game is just around the corner as we start.